How to keep candy apples from sticking to wax paper. Candy apples are popular in trade fairs, carnivals, and candy shops across the U.S. Over the years, this street has also been part of the tradition of different countries around the globe. And with apples being available all year round, there are no restrictions on when you can have candy apples. But with all the different versions all over the world, there is a common difficulty when you make it at home, how to keep candy apples from sticking to wax paper. Making it for the first time and solely relying on wax paper will make you realize this issue. And even when you've done it several times before, if you miss a simple yet crucial step, your apples will stick like crazy. The struggle of taking wax paper off doesn't only ruin the beautiful candy coating, it also leaves a sticky mess you don't want to deal with. The good thing in messing something up the first time is that you learn to look for ways not to commit the same mistake again. It's a general perspective but it also applies in the kitchen in so many aspects. And although I learned my lesson the hard way, I know I won't deal with sticking candy apples ever again. Wax Paper versus Parchment Paper Parchment paper is coated with silicone to make it resistant to heat and give it a non-stick surface. Most brands can withstand a high temperature of up to 420 degrees Fahrenheit making it a good option for baking and roasting among others. Meanwhile, wax paper is coated with paraffin or soybean wax and should not be exposed to direct heat such as in ovens. It's ideally used as a sandwich or cold storage wrapper or separator such as in burger patties. How to prevent candy apples from sticking to wax paper Understanding the difference between wax paper and parchment paper plays a key role here. At this point, we already know that the ideal paper to use for candy apples is parchment paper and not wax paper due to the reasons given above. However, if by chance you have no available parchment paper at home and have to work with wax paper instead, there are a few ways you can do to keep the apple from sticking to it. The Butter Method Smear butter on the wax paper before setting the candy apples on top of it. Let the apples cool completely and rest for about 2 hours before removing them to ensure you won't have to deal with sticking issues. The Oil or Non-Stick Spray Method Use about 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil to grease the wax paper. You can also use cooking spray as a substitute. Take note though that these two options will not give the same rich flavor you would get from butter. The Bar Toppings Method You can dip the apples one at a time in the candy mixture and roll it in the toppings of your choice. Make sure to cover the bottom part with a good amount of toppings to keep it from sticking to the wax paper when you let it cool. You have to work fast and roll it in the toppings before the candy starts to harden. When all the apples are ready, put the whole tray in the fridge and allow them to cool. What to do if candy apples stick to wax paper? The easiest way to pull the wax paper off is to put candy apples on top of something warm enough to melt a thick layer of candy. You may need to re-dip the bottom of the apples but this method will save you from ruining those beautiful treats. <laughs>